Hi everyone and welcome to a new video. The turn technique, it can be very useful when eliminating and today I'm going to show you four ways how to use the turn to eliminate your defender. Okay guys, before we start, I'd just like to remind you my online courses are now available. Hertzberger TV Premium offers two online courses, one for elimination skills and one for shooting, scoring and positioning for the strikers amongst us. For the rest, have a look. Maybe there's a way for you to unleash your full potential from anywhere around the world at any time on any device. Check it out. I'll leave a link in the description. All right, so just to explain first what the turn technique is. The turn technique is a technique where you have the ball in the hook of your stick and you can turn in a certain direction. And the reason why it's so effective is because when the ball is in the hook and you can keep it there, you can make quick movements. And I can go all the way around and I can bring the ball back. So there's a lot of control in the turn. And you can actually go anywhere and back again like this. If you practice enough, you can get the right technique down and then you can use that as a skill. All right, so the first basic elimination skill with the turn is the actual 180 degree turn move. So what you do is you run towards your opponent, they think you're going over the forehand, and from here you're gonna step back, and then you continue your run. All right, so the second part is a bit more difficult. What we're gonna do is we're gonna turn that 180 degrees into 360. And the reason you could use that one is when the defender thinks, okay, I've seen this move before. I know when they come here, they're gonna do that 180 degrees turn and they decide to put their back end down, opening everything up on this side. So what you can do is you can use the 360 degree turn, coming in this way, doing as if you're going that way, but then you pull it here and you can continue your run. Hi everyone, do you want to copy me and mirror my skills? Check out the Be Like app and compare your skills to mine. Good luck. Okay, so the biggest difference between these two techniques, whether you go 180 degrees or all the way around, has to do with how wide you make it. So if you want to go around the back end of the defender and you want to go 180 degrees, you can benefit from the fact that you go really wide and you go around because then the defender, even if the defender turns their stick, they can't reach. However, with the 360, you want to try and keep it compact and you really want to turn towards the left side. So if you would think of it as north, east, south, west, you really want to go west instead of into the defender. Because if you turn into the defender, into the stick, you're going to get a free hit against. So the 180 degrees is nice and wide. The 360 needs to be compact you need to end up on the left side so you can continue your run. So here, you make it compact, and you end up here, and from here you can continue your run. So don't turn your 360 into the defender, because that's when you make a foul, and it's also not 360. That's only three quarters of the way. So when you go this way, you want to go 360, make sure you end here. So you go there, and you end here, you can continue. That's the main difference between the 180 and the 360. All right, the next variation is where you're actually going the other way. And because you're going the other way, it changes everything because you're gonna really try and threaten to go over the reverse side of the defender. And from here, you're gonna try and hit the brakes and go like that around. And the hard part about this is now you're going over the forehand of the defender. So it needs to be really wide and you really need to try and sell the move over the right side. So you're coming in, you would have to go that way and then try and move. And as you can see, if you go too quick, it's going to jump out. That's what you need to practice. Try and really get control over the ball, get it in that hook so you can turn it quickly.
All right, so one extra thing you can do is you can bring your hand all the way to the top and you can release the left hand and then try and use only one arm, which allows you to go even wider. It's quite difficult and it maybe looks a bit strange, but if you get the hang of it and you get the technique down, it can be really effective. So the same thing, you go towards that side, you bring the right hand up and from here you let go and you can make it really wide and then you can bring your left hand to the stick again and continue your run. So just to make it wider so the defender can't reach, you can try and bring the right hand up and then try and practice it like this. See if you can get the hang of this technique. All right, so the last one I want to show you is personally my favorite. It's really difficult to do, but if you get the hang of it, it can be really effective in the game. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to try and go to the back end of the defender. And from here, you want to let him think you're going that way. And from here, then you actually pull it back and then continue your run. So you need to keep control over the ball. You need to make sure that it doesn't jump out of the hook and you need to be in control the whole time of what you're doing. So there's a few variations how you can use the turn to eliminate. Good luck practicing those. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, like the video. See you next week. Bye-bye.